Hello everybody, welcome back once again for more Terraria Calamity Revisited. So today we're going to try to go ahead and take on another boss, but before we do, I just want to go ahead and do some quick combining because we got some materials and I just want to put them together. The Spectre Boots and the Hermes Boots, well, yeah, they are going to combine this to make the Spectre Boots, but the Rocket Boots with the Hermes Boots make the Spectre Boots. Woo! There we go. Oh my goodness. Man, talking about a blunder on that one. So yeah, we took on the Brain of Cthulhu last time, several times. If you haven't seen that video, go back and check it out. And if you're new here, do me a favor and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell to get updated when new videos and live streams come out. That's all we have to say on that topic. But I'm glad you're here to enjoy this funness with me, and I hope you're having a very good day. So actually, before we get going and we start setting up our arena, I want to go and reforge some of the stuff for some more defense, because it's probably going to be good. So yes, I am using the Crimson Armor, and it's it's doable. It's very doable. So Violent is melee speed. I'm not using Merry Melee very much. Guarding? Ugh. I don't want to use up all my money, but let's be honest, I do kind of want to get some good armor defensive stuff, and it's not going to give me anything more than guarding, so we'll take it. We'll take it. All right. What else can we get before we get moving? Menacing. Oh, my goodness. You would have been great for extra damage. Hard, lucky, fleeting, menacing. Are you... It's like a slap in the face. The game is slapping me in the face right now. And it leaves me with lucky. Whatever. Fine. Be that way. We will make do without it. Anyway, let me go ahead and grab some of my materials real quick. I'm going to make a platform for this next boss fight. I'm pretty sure... You know where I'm going with this one, and if you don't, then I'm going to let you be surprised. But for those who know Calamity, you probably got an idea. Well, I may have jumped the order a little bit, so don't worry, I will go back. I will go back and fight a boss, but I kind of jumped the order a bit. Either way, we're still going to fight him. Alright, so here is the dealio. We're going to go ahead and take on the perforator dude here. The perforator dude. Maybe it's not the perforator dude. Maybe it's the perforator gal. I don't know. But it's going to be something we're going to take on here. Actually, the bulb was just right here. It just kind of moved away because I moved too far off screen. That is such a bummer. Really. So I don't have any potions on me this time. I haven't really prepared for this fight. But we're going to do it anyway because I love you guys. And I kind of just want to get the perforator done and out of the way. So we can get into the mushroom biome or a somewhat decent mushroom biome and get things done there. So really, we're going to have to do the fight. On the other side, because there's the bulb. And these guys are very annoying. So, perforator. Can we hit you from here? Yes, we can. Really? They're going to be all up on my business. Let's take you out really quick. I forgot that this guy's got some hit points. So, I didn't re-up on some bullets. I didn't do that. And I've also got my arrows in my inventory as well. I've also got plenty of jester arrows, which I may have to whip out at some point. Actually, you know what? Maybe I should have did that earlier, but whatever. Get lost. There we go. Just in case we need to do a like a quick emergency swappage. Emergency swappage. Okay, perforator. Oh, hello. You're the perforator I'm used to know. Well, actually, you know what? Never mind, you are. I remember now. That's right. You are a little bit different, I believe, aren't you? You are a little bit different. You are different. See, I, I didn't do my research on this. Perforator has awoken. Yeah, I'd say he has awoken. This fight seems different than what I'm used to. So, with that... Yeah, I gotta remember to dodge those things. Because they are highly damaging. Oh, yeah, then you do that. I forgot. Now we're getting into the spirit of things. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, I know that perforators are awaking. Problem is... Trying to dodge the, the projectiles. Ooh, I was so unprepared for this. Ooh, I was so unprepared for this. Actually, we were doing kind of decent. I wasn't doing too hateful. All right, well, point one goes to the game on that one. It goes to the mod on that one. Well, thank you for being so generous as to be right there. Now, the problem with your location is that you're probably going to maul my face off as soon as you break open. See, I knew it was going to happen. You just had that murderous intent of look in your eyes. Alright, so, yeah. We do have to dodge 
your projectiles. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Yeah, I got a man. The projectiles are what make things so much worse. All right, you know what? Come on. So we gotta break you down in phases. That's what we were doing wrong the first time. Did I put my boots back on? Just say it doesn't feel like it. Okay, there's a perforator. Yeah, the bald dude thingy is just there for fun and giggles and to eat my face off like that. And apparently he does do extra damage, so we are not going to worry about that. Okay. Oh! See, that's the kind of shenanigans I don't need to worry about. Oh, my! I'm dead. Oh, I'm dead. Okay, my platform is different now. It's not working the way it used to. All right, so I actually adjusted the platform a little bit higher because it's a little bit too close to the ground and it makes these a little bit more challenging. So let's get a little bit more distance for the perforator. Hopefully this will have better luck. And unfortunately, by the time I got done doing this, it is a blood moon. So yeah, of course, it wouldn't be Terraria Calamity revisited without a blood moon during a boss fight. Yay! Yeah, just yay. Oh my goodness, and now we can't even get to the perforator ball because look at these critters around here just getting in my way. Come on, dude. Seriously, let me do my job. Oh my goodness. Yeah, let's do this. Drink a potion or two. Oh yeah, there we go. I'm gonna say, oh yeah, just stay away from the damage and we should be alright. Literally at this point, just stay away from this guy and I'll be alright. All right, so it's going to be a little bit iffy because we're kind of bouncing back and forth between Crimson and what might be the jungle. Oh, no. Heal. Come on. Yeah, the further you stay down there, the better. It doesn't have that great of range, and if we can keep it down below, it'll be good. Problem is that. That. All of that right there. So yeah, this is like a multifaceted fight where, oh, we gotta avoid hits like that. Seriously? Oh man, come on. Yeah, there we go. All right, so we're going back to the arrow bullets. Arrows, bullets, whatever. Please, there we go, thank you. Thank you for playing ball. I'm not trying to get him to do anything I don't want him to do just yet. Okay, there we go. Alright, as long as we keep you down there and you do that. Okay, this is actually looking in a pretty good position. Oh, I forgot that there's a bit of a pattern to this. Well, I didn't forget it. It's just hard to get re back into that pattern. Did we get him? We got him. Alright. Now I think we're in a much better position because distance made all of the difference. Now we got one more perforator to kill. And that's going to be Big Boy. And here comes Big Boy. Big Boy does not play. But Big Boy's staying down there, which is good. As long as Big Boy stays down there. Oh, man. Heal. Big boy, stay down there. Oh, I have no idea how we avoided that damage, but we found a way to avoid the damage. Beautiful. Oh, yes. That that does it. I'm feeling much better. So we died several times, and then we finally got it right, and it made a big difference. The ground is glittering with cyan light. Ooh, Perforator Hive has been defeated, and distance on the platform made a difference. I, I do not remember much about that. So, yeah, my memory is getting up there. I'm getting old. I need my Metamucil for these fights. Literally, I don't even know. But Savage, Bloody Rupture, I remember. Melee, yes. Wormtooth. Damage reduction, increased melee stats. Oh, it was a melee. Well, we could still do something with it. Perforator Mask, it's vanity. Thank you for protecting me, my little guide. Got you the last few times. Perforators and their hive. The, the, the abomination of mangled flesh. Commingled flesh, bone, and organ as I'm all kind of commingled right about now. Rested primarily of blood slurping worms. The chunks left over from the brain must have been absorbed by the crimson and reconstituted into that thing. 
No, it was totally reconstituted in that thing. That was very annoying. Now, there are things we could use to actually go back and craft to make another summoning for a perforator. But, yeesh. Ah, come on, dude. Seriously? But we do get a lot of Crimtane bars, which is nice. But at the same time, we don't really have much of a need for more Crimtane. So, it would be nice if we could do more with it. But, no, I'm like literally Crimtained out. Now, it would be nice if we can actually get something else, like a rare accessory or something. But, doesn't appear to be the case. Because, Jagged Bloody Worm Tooth, not really helping me right now for the melee stats. But... The increased damage reduction and things makes it interesting. I don't know. I may hold on to it just in case for future references, but either way, man, what a rush. The video is over, but there's more where that came from. Be sure to subscribe for more Terraria Let's Plays, Top 5s, and other videos as well as we cover different titles. You can click on one of the videos here for more. Be sure to rate this video accordingly as it helps the channel out greatly. Have yourself a wonderful day, and I will see you again next time.